you know, as I look right of center, I often encounter the claim that the U.S. and the EU are, to some considerable degree, culpable for Putin's invasion, right? And it was, you know, it's often described as the result of Western provocations. You know, we, we crossed one of his red lines, which we knew to be a red line. There were failures of Western diplomacy, for which America, above all, is, is culpable. You know, did the prospect of NATO membership for Ukraine force Putin's hand here? I mean, how do you how do you view this allegation that it's basically the the war is our fault and and Putin is acting as we would under similar circumstances? And uh, you know, it's just we we just failed to understand our adversary and you know what really mattered to him. And um, you know, it's largely on us that we're in this situation. Yeah, it's it's really strange to watch that exercise and you know, trying to exculpate the guilty party by finding flaws in yourself. And you know, if we go back to the Tucker Carlson interview with Putin, you know, he asked him repeatedly, you know, was it NATO's fault? Putin's response for half an hour was, well, actually, you know, Ukraine is Russia. And let me tell you the story of how since Volodymyr the Great and Yaroslav the Wise, it was always Russia. You know, NATO membership was not something that was happening in two thousand eight. There was a declaration at the summit in Romania that Ukraine and Georgia will become members of NATO. And that was the end of it. There was no membership plan, no negotiations, nothing practical happening. It's not like Ukraine was about to join NATO or was even negotiating to join NATO. It was just empty words. So there was really not much for Putin to fear from that, if he was really fearing that. And he wasn't, you know, because again, it, it's... If you look at his mindset, you know, he has said famously that the greatest tragedy of the 20th century was the collapse of the Soviet Union. The greatest tragedy, worse than the Holocaust. And he was working very hard to reverse that tragedy and to collect Russian lands once again. That was it. It's just pure imperialist land grab. We also have seen uh, Dmitry Medvedev, you know, who's the head of Russia's ruling party, the former president, being very open about the Russian goals in Ukraine. In January, he said that the very existence of Ukraine as a country, independent country, no matter how friendly to Russia, will not be acceptable to us. And sooner or later, in five or 50 years, it will be wiped out. And so Ukrainians have a choice to become Russians or to die. And because, you know, they don't want to see themselves and their loved ones killed by us, they will make the right choice. Mm. These are the words of a very senior Russian official, potential successor to Putin. So this is what the Russians want. It's not about NATO. 